ball up quick. That's the reason you're doing it. It's not to put pressure on him. You're trying to make him get the ball elevated quickly. You're trying to emphasize that in this drill. And that's a, that, that's a nice throw. That's going to give him a chance. Here's another one. Okay, so that's, that's a point each on these. Hey, here's one ends up coming out a little flat. Now, if the ball comes out too flat, okay, then they don't get their points. You really want to make sure that the ball gets up, okay? You want it to turn over like this one does, but you want it to get up. Also, here, you know, you're going to have to turn your shoulders up to throw it, but you don't want a long release. Here, this release is longer than it normally is for them. Now, here's a spot where you actually throw it. He puts it. It's in the bucket, but it's a little bit short. Okay, it, 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 excuse me, it's in the box, but it's a little bit short. Okay, that's a good throw because that ball can be adjusted to by our guy and it's really difficult for a defender to, to adjust to it. So that's why you put the bucket up front as opposed to dead square in the middle of the box. Okay, so you, if they're going to miss, you want them to miss there, outside and short, as opposed to long or inside. Okay, so here's a couple clips of it working. This is a little long ball drill that we do. All right, you can see this one. That definitely lands inside the bucket. Okay, it comes over his shoulder, lets the defender have no shot at it. The wide receiver has a great chance to fade away, come down on it. He's got, he's, he's got the ability to adjust on this ball. He also could have opened his hip and caught this one, but this is a really nice throw that only the wide receiver has a chance at. See, this ball will clearly land in bounds. Okay, you want to make sure that it lands in bounds so that they can make sure to actually make the catch because it does nobody any good to throw the ball four yards out of bounds. Here's a look at it from this angle here. Okay, and you can see it just come out over his shoulder, landing in bounds. There's the red line. You can see the red line on the field. Okay, you can see a perfect throw in the box. That would have, would have almost gone in the bucket. Here's another look. Now this one ends up short, but we can see, now this is what I was talking about, how we want to miss short if we're going to miss, because you can see the receiver can adjust to this, can open up his hip and can go get this ball. All right? If it's long and he can't ever get there because you throw it too far, all right, you got no shot at making the catch. All right, one more shot here. Again, landing, all right, that might be a little, you know, little inside, but the receiver needs to hold the red line more. We talked to the receiver about holding the red line, and the quarterback and the receiver need to be on the same page. Just drop this over his shoulder right there. All right, the next drill is called the clap drill. So this drill emphasizes being in total control on your drop. You want to be on the insides of our feet, you want to be balanced, and you want to be able to pull up at any point. Okay, so what's going to happen here is a coach or another player is going to stand, he's going to have his hands up. The, the quarterback's going to be taking a drop. As soon as the coach claps his hands, the quarterback will plant his back foot and deliver the ball. Okay, it might be a one step drop, it might be a three, a five, a seven, a nine, an eleven, whatever. Okay, you really go from hash to the sideline and try to get as, you know, you get some reps in there from there. So let, let's just take a look at it here. So there's the clap. Now you want an accurate throw. Boom. You want to keep your hands up on the clap. You can see the clap right there. You want to keep your hands up so they can't anticipate the clap. And you'd like to see this throw hit them right, right in the hands. This, this ball comes out a little low. But you can see him transition quickly. He's on the insides of his feet, sticks it in the ground, ball out. We don't want to hitch. We want that ball out. Okay, and we want to transition our weight with a, with a step. Okay, open up that toe and transition our weight and throw the ball accurately at our target. Here's a quick clap here. Okay, so now he's really got to adjust and get the quick clap here. Ball comes out. This one will be a little bit longer. So that's more than any drop we'd have. Okay, but he's still staying in balance. All right. You see him really on the inside of his foot there and the power he creates. You'd like to see him get a little bit more of a step instead of just putting that down with the left foot. Okay. This drill's great for 
teaching hot throws, it's great for teaching balance in your drop, and occasionally we'll have combo drops where it might be a three, five, or seven step drop based on the receiver that he's gonna throw the ball to. Play polish. So play polish, we're gonna have two groups going at the same time. Okay, we want to try to get as many reps as we can. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get our polish with our running back. We're gonna be working, you know, our power steps, our inside zone, our stretch, all of those different things, our counter. And we want to make sure that we work those with great fundamentals, driving back, getting the ball back to the back as deep as possible. Okay, using our off hand and our belly. All right, and making sure we extend the ball. We also want to make sure we drive off our uh, the proper foot to make sure that we get back away from the center. Okay, that's something that we're always working on. We really need to keep improving on that right now. All right, but you wanna make sure you have mental weight on the other foot. So, for example, we reverse out on our power. Okay, so if it's, if it's a power to the right, he wants to make sure that he's got his mental weight on his right foot so he can reverse out. Okay, there's power right there. He kinda under, steps under himself Okay, he drives out of it pretty good, but he kind of steps under himself because he reaches with his toe. He does seat the ball to his belly quickly, which is nice, and then he extends. He does a nice job with the off hand in the belly, okay, and then hands up selling the fake. We want to be great at selling fakes. Okay, we want our play action pass to be a big time part of our game. All right, here's another look at it. Now, we're trying to give him the midline. Okay, right here, we're not. We're, we're, we're just pivoting. We're not driving out. We're too high, okay? And we need to make sure that we give the, give the running back the midline here, and that's why he almost hits us. Okay, so these are the type of things why we do this camera angle on this drill so that we can really teach the quarterbacks, you know, their, their steps are off and how much it affects the rest of the play. You can see two groups are going at once, so you're constantly got people moving in all directions. Here it is again. Now, again, he a little bit of a step under, but definitely giving the guy the midline and then quickly getting our head, head and eyes around for the fake to fake a play action pass. Nice job with the offhand. If a quarterback is struggling with his offhand, I'll tell him to actually grab his jersey, okay, and that'll keep his offhand in. So there's a poor offhand right there. So right there, everybody in the world knows what's going on. We need to be lower, play with bend in our ankles, our knees, and our hips, and keep that off hand in the belly. Okay. Also, want to drive back and get that ball back to the guy as soon as possible. The, the running back's a little tight here, okay, and the quarterback isn't driving back, so he's not going to give him enough time to make his proper cuts. And here's a look of opening to it on an inside zone and booting away. Okay, we talk about quick feet through the fake. Okay, quick feet through the fake and accelerate head and eyes out of it. Quick feet through it, accelerate head and eyes out of it. Okay, now we're setting up. Okay, we still want to drive, so all of our mental weight should be on our right foot here. We don't want to fall step. You see both guys fall stepping because they have their mental weight on their toe and not on the inside portion of their foot. So all their mental weight should be on their right foot, just mental weight so that they don't tip off where they're going. The last couple here from shotgun. Okay, we got the quarter turn. You can add a coach that would be a read if you have it. We, we'll do that as well. We'll actually read him. We'll have a coach be the read guy because we know exactly what we want to give him. Okay, we want to make sure that we accelerate quickly out of this thing. Okay, a lot of times I want to be where the read is so that I can see how he's putting it in the belly and I can see his eyes and his demeanor. Now this one we want to stay square so that we don't cut the running back off. So each time we're trying to teach something else. Here he wants to stay square and then accelerate out. Accelerate out. If, if they don't accelerate out on these fakes, they'll get up downs, they'll get push ups, things like that. But you really want to be kind of over the top here so that they can make sure to do it in games so they're not sloppy and lazy in games.